handicap. Pike with a treble so far. They're ready to run. All clear given now and the gates have opened. They're off and they're racing and Slick Sam actually got out of the gates best. Also jumping quickly is Desert Thorn and going up on the outside is Summer's Dream. Patapus sprung the gates well. Nice and handy as they'd settled down. Going back is Disco Riffic and then deeper out came Colhoun who's quickly got up inside. Disco Riffic there, then Dam Ready fraternise and towards the tail is Cataplexic. 550 left to go nearing the corner and Summer's Dream held the front for Turner. Three quarters in front Desert Thorn, Patapus just sitting off its heels, then Slick Sam down on the inside, fourth at the top of the home straight Colhoun's driving up near the middle down on the inside is Dam Ready Disco Riffic coming to the outside with a trun further back, Cataplexic fraternise inside the 250 and Patapus ranges up, grabs the lead from Desert Thorn, down on the inside Dam Ready's coming with a run and so is Disco Riffic, Patapus, Dam Ready hard up against the rail though, spearing through and Dam Ready draws away late, goes home to win at the Former Victorian from Disco Riffic Patapus. Fourth might be fraternised. Close up though, Cataplexic deep out with Colhoun. Behind those, Slick Sam. Next in, Desert Thorn. And fading right out of contention is Summer's Dream, who led them for home. Back on top of the ground this afternoon. Damn ready. Glenn Smith. Beautiful rails hugging right here by Smith for Mark Bearstow. The ex Victorian. Has certainly put his best foot forward there. He's come off a couple of tracks, rain affected, and a real duffer in those conditions. But as Mark Bairstow has been roundly telling anyone prepared to listen, it'll win a race on top of the ground. He found a perfect track this afternoon with the blinkers on. By more than ready, from Waterwise, for Mark Bairstow, T. McLean, D. Hounsfeld, trained by Mark Bairstow, written by Glenn Smith, and simply scraped the Dulux, grabbing Patapus Disco Riffic and placings confirmed. Two first, four Disco Riffic second, three Patapus weighs in third and fraternise officially fourth. Two, four, three and five. And so it's its third win in 24 runs for Dam Ready this afternoon. And uh, it was a sweet old ride there from one of the best in the business in Glenn Smith. Saved every inch of ground. And the Exavic certainly was able to lengthen the way that uh, Bearstow has predicted it would in uh, a shorter matter of time once they were able to get it back on top of the ground. A 58.82 time, 58.82. Three quarters and a half a length of the margins there on returning after the running of the Lavazza Handicap Race 6. The late one of Abel Dane joining 13, 14, 15 and 16. A total now of five scratchings out of the next at 3.35. In the meantime, let's go back to Gareth Hall joining us and no doubt with a, a pretty happy Mark Bearstow. Yeah, Mark Bearstow. I remember him, uh, Mark, telling us on radio a couple of weeks ago, just wait for this all's getting on the top of the uh, top of the ground and the blinkers going on. And um, Smithy was, I don't know what you were thinking, the 300, but he just, well, he got his run in the end. Yeah, no, he rode him good. He had to ride for luck. But, you know, that's the way he, he was drawn. But uh, I was just a little bit worried when he was rubbing up against the fence because he's not over brave when he gets tightened up, you know. But uh, anyway, he, uh, he pushed his way through, so it was good. Were you expecting that performance today with oh. um, a firmer track? There's no doubt. I, I thought he'd run terrific first up on the track. Just, he just wouldn't go a yard. So I, was, I, wasn't, I wasn't worried about his second up run. Everybody said he's not, he's not firing on you. He was going good, but it's just a matter of getting on top of the ground. You know? yep. And um, obviously there's a little bit of money for him, but your stable's going really well. You just missed out here. Last week, I forget that horse's name, but it should Nick have won. Mm -hmm. Nick Atrice, yeah. So I think you moved from Bunbury and you was new, um, new place there and yeah, looks no, like you settled in well. This horse, I like this horse. He, um, I've got a bit of time for him. He uh, he might be a bit better than uh, people think he is. He's, uh, he, he's had a few problems in his life and, and the way he let down today, that's it. That's what he does, you know. A bit like Collingwood these days. Smith, he went through that gap, put his head over the football. Yeah, well, he went a bit better than Geelong have been going. Yeah, well done, Mark. Good on you, Mark. Here we go. There's Mark Bairstow, and he trains that winner, and that was a good performance. Britain, good tipping from Brittany Taylor. It was a good performance by the horse. You just see that uh, the way he was able to take that gap, and it's interesting with... And then just saying that he's not necessarily the most brave customer, but he showed all that bravery, and I think it's a credit to Glenn Smith. He just seems to have that knack of getting horses to do that with the, the street.
strength that he rides with. Uh, he can uh, really get them home and made that horse really lift. It was uh, held up for a little bit, just waiting for that gap. And then when he was able to let it see daylight, the others were coming with the momentum and down the outside, but it really lifted. And a dry track seems to have uh, been the key to this horse. And hopefully, now that we're getting the, the sun out as we approach the, the spring and summer months, that this is what they get, because this, it's been a pretty wet old winter here at Belmont. So finally, now they're getting the, uh, the dry tracks and Glenn Smith just weighs in now. And we'll have a chat to him and see what he thought of the performance of Damn Ready. Glenn, it was a, a lovely win there. Were you confident that the horse was going to take that gap? He was pretty hard up against that fence. I was, yeah. Stevie um, just moved out a little bit and then he sort of went to go back, angle back to the inside and I gave him a call, but I was in a, in a world of pain where I was. But he, um, once he got through the gap, he really accelerated nice like a, like a Saturday horse. Did he impress you how he was able to pick himself up when he was held up for those moments? He was, yeah. I, um, I've watched his replays and I noticed in the go and he sort of gets his head up a little bit and... Um, Today we thought we'd try and track right into the straight before we went for him, sort of try and keep him balanced and then that sort of happened. But once we got, got through the gap on the inside and um, he properly balanced up, he really found the line beautiful. You wear these same colours, same connections in the next race with Langley. Can you uh, make it a double? Yeah, well, his runs have been promising. So up to the 2000, I think um, he should be hard to beat with a bit of luck. Good luck. Congratulations on this win. Cheers, Britt. One under Glenn Smith. Jeez, he's riding in good form. G Smith at the moment. And that was a G Smith special there in the fifth race. Race six will kick off the quarter.